Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my 2019-2020 offseason predictions for the Detroit Tigers. Okay, what I think they should do versus what I think they will likely do. Okay, and if you want to see a bunch of videos on uh, a bunch of other teams, I've done about a dozen teams already. Click that subscribe button and click the bell next to it so that you not only see my videos that I post every other day as well, but you have access to those videos. If you want to see MLB free agent predictions, you want to see two videos on the Houston Astros cheating scandal, one of which goes over the scandal and the other which uh, talks about an appropriate punishment, look in the description down below um, and subscribe to my channel. All the videos are available. If you want to know what the predicted contract size is for the players, look down below as well. But uh, moving forward, and if you have any specific requests on teams, if you happen to be a fan of such and such, Put, it down, put a request down below, and I'm more than happy to accommodate. I try to accommodate all the requests, and uh, and I also want to see get your feedback. If you're a baseball fan, this channel is for you. Okay. If you happen to have friends or family who are Detroit Tigers fans, share it with them. I want to see what they think. I want to see what you think. Let's put on our hats, our GM hats. The winter meetings are in a couple weeks. So let's see where everybody's uh, pulse is at in terms of this stuff. Okay. So with that said, let's get to the Detroit Tigers. Now, obviously, they have about 600,000 moves they have to make. Okay, they're a ways away. They're clearly rebuilding, kind of like the Marlins and the Orioles. But that said, it doesn't mean they still can't improve. All right, <clears throat> here's what I think they should do. Okay, um, <clears throat> I think they should trade Franklin Perez, who's their number five prospect, a right-handed pitcher, and Jake Rogers, who's their number ten prospect, a catcher, to the New York Yankees for Miguel Andujar. Okay, that addresses a clear upgrade in the infield, and they do need infield, um, and they have a glut. Uh, or a surplus, I should say, of um, pitching prospects. So um, I think they could use to trade a few of the, from a position of strength to address a position of weakness. Um, and Miguel Andujar can also play first base. You can move him around. You can you can uh, platoon him in the outfield as well. He could could be like an Alfonso Soriano, super utility guy, or it could just be a mainstay at one of those positions. And we obviously know he can hit already, and he's healthy again. Okay. Or my other trade proposal for them is to trade Michael Fulmer. Their other uh, one of their starting pitchers, and Parker uh, Meadows, who's their number seven prospect, a center fielder, to the Cubs for Kyle Schwarber. Kind of an outside the box proposal, but another thing, you know, dealing from a position of strength or depth to address a clear position of weakness. And it might be time for a Fulmer to have a, a little bit of a change of scenery. And I think he would do well. He'd slide right into the Cubs rotation and pitch really well. And I think uh, Schwarber would be a great addition too. Um, the Tigers, and he's versatile. He can play first place, he can play the outfield. Okay, You have, within Fulmer and Andujar, you have versatile players that address multiple positions, which gives the Tigers a little bit of flexibility. Right? Uh, and the other thing I should think they should do is sign Matt Adams for first base, which allows you to plug in Andujar at third base if a trade is made for him, or in the outfield, or allows you to plug Kyle Schwarber in the outfield. So then we have Schwarber and Adams if you make that trade. Okay? It gives you options, and the Tigers need options. Now, that's what I think they should do. What will they likely do? This is what I think they're going to likely do. I think they're going to sign Justin Smoke, a free agent, for a first baseman. Solid player, journeyman, has been around for a while. Um, that's what I think they're going to do. I think they're going to make a bunch of signings. I'd be surprised if they made a trade with either Fulmer or Boyd. But you never know. Um, you know, The back of my mind says they could send uh, Boyd to the San Diego, Pros San Diego Padres, who is the number one farm in baseball, and get a boatload of prospects back. But we'll see. I don't know. So I think they're going to sign Justin Smoke for first base. I think they're going to re-sign Josh Harrison for second base. Okay, And I think they're going to bring in a Danny Hechevarria uh, for shortstop, a defensive whiz. Okay, He has got a glove of all gloves. Okay, And then on the back end, I think they're going to uh, sign two relievers, Tony Sipp and Francisco Liriano. Liriano. So I think they're going to plug in multiple holes in the infield as well as plug in multiple holes in the bullpen. They'll boost uh, boost their bullpen. And these, some of these guys, you know, are ground ball pitchers, so you have a really good defensive infield behind them to support those pitchers, as well as Fulmer and Boyd and these other guys. So, this is my thoughts. So these are my thoughts on the Tigers. Obviously, they're going to need to do more moves than this, but you know, with all the other free agents and the other teams making moves, I can't. You know, when do teams make eight or ten moves? I mean, it, it could happen. It has happened, but um, and I would be pleasantly surprised if they did. Which also, these moves also allow you to move. Uh, Miguel Cabrera to full-time DH, get him off the field, okay, um, which is another train of thought for me. So, I imagine Andujar and Schwarber, I mean, Andujar and Schwarber, or uh, and Miguel Cabrera, that's a scary threesome right there, that is a scary threesome, okay, um, or a scary pair, 
Um, but anyway, this is my video on the Tigers. Let me know what you think. If you think they're you know within reason and you like them, please click the like button. Drop a comment down below if you think I'm nuts. Uh, if you have any other ideas or proposals, plug them in. Put them in the comments down below. But more than all, please subscribe to my channel, okay, and then click the bell next to it so that you know when I post new videos. And I post new videos every other day. The video I'm going to be posting after this um, is going to be a video on my off-season predictions for the, the uh, Texas Rangers. So, um, and I already have the Cubs, the Phillies, the Yankees, the Mets, the Red Sox. I've got uh, the Angels. I've got the Dodgers. I've got the Pirates. I've got the Diamondbacks. All videos on those teams. So if you happen to be a fan or no fans, either watch it and or share the videos with the people that you know. All right? Now, uh, the more feedback, the better. The more engagement we have, the better. Okay? And especially now. Um, now, and I also put out, yesterday I put out a video on my predictions for the MLB final standings for 2020 before the winter meetings and all the free agents. In January, or a little bit after that, I'm going to put out my uh, updated version of that video after the winter meetings and after all the teams have signed, so that we know, you know, which teams are predicted to make some moves, and I'd be surprised if the teams that make a bunch of incremental moves make bigger leaps than the people that bring in one or two superstars. It's usually the way it works, so. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, keep enjoying some more videos, and I'll talk to you soon.